Hello and welcome to Time for Healing. I'm your host, Marian Porter of Starwinds. I'm a healing practitioner and my healing modalities include Reiki, tuning fork therapy, shamanic healing, axis consciousness bars, and axis consciousness body processes. Time for Healing features Connecticut's leading healers in a unique educational show. The inspiration for this show came from the realization that most of the people outside the healing community are not aware of the holistic healing options available to them. Each episode will focus on a different healing modality. In the first half of the show, I will ask my guest questions about their modality. In the second half, I will experience their particular healing live on camera. Oh. The goal of Time for Healing is to provide the viewer with a working knowledge of a wide variety of healing modalities. My guests today are Kelly Smith, who will be telling us all about tarot cards along with her wonderful cat, Muffin. Oh, oh, Kelly Smith and Muffin, oh, you're on my show. I have dreamed of this day since I started the show. Thank you. Oh my Thank God. you. <laughs> this is great. And Muffin, look at you, Muffin. You like oh. Muffin more than me, so oh. Muffin's really the star today. <laughs> I love you both. I love Muffin is the star of That's right, of Muffin, most. that's right. You look at the camera with the red light, Muffin. <laughs> Anyways, my love, you're here and uh, tarot cards. Yes. Mm. Yes. I'm excited about that. So tell me, tell me, love, when, uh, when did you first start getting into tarot cards? Um, I had my first experience um, with oracle cards uh -huh. when I was about 13. My mom gifted me one for my birthday and here and there I would use them and it was never really anything serious. Um, but it blended into the mediumship abilities that I was born with. Cool. So it was, it was an easier way for me to connect with source um, that I knew I had around me. Um, and then later in life, uh, as I became a mom of three, I um, went through Dharma school, shamanic studying, and I found that my biggest connection within becoming a shaman was direct connection to my tarot cards, and Ooh. I use them together. Uh, so they blend exceptionally well together. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah. So you said oracle cards. Is there a difference between oracle cards and tarot cards? Yes. Ah. Um, tarot cards have set um, suits, I guess you would call them, for each deck, which, I mean, there are numerous decks that you can get, but all the cards are the same. Um, and oracle cards vary in size and card number, first of all, and they provide different words as opposed to um, with tarot it's about the pictures mainly um, so oracle is a little more um, expansive in the oh. fact that the there's multiple like different words and languages and how do you decide which one you use in a reading <laughs> I have a bookshelf filled um, with tarot and oracle cards and each reading that I do for a client I kind of put my hand over you know my shelf of cards and I ask which deck would like to be used for their highest good really? and energetically I, I, I hear a yes and I pull the deck sometimes it's surprising what comes out but it always comes out perfect really yeah so so tarot cards some misconceptions out there yeah let's uh let's address those they're not they're not evil they're not uh, uh <laughs> entertainment they're not like parlor games this is like serious serious it, healing it, stuff it right? is it is um i believe the first thing that i would that i tell most people is that tarot is not exactly predicting the future that for me um tarot ends up having some sort of she can come up here if she wants that's so right I have to 
my dress. Um, tarot, for me personally, due to my mediumship abilities, um, can potentially have a predictive type aspect to it. But for the most part, um, tarot is very introspective. It, you use it to gain knowledge into things that are happening around you. Either clients will ask a question or we will leave it up to their spirit guides. So it's kind of like all the things like knock, 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 you haven't been paying attention. Ooh. Let's list it. Um, and it gives a different kind of angle to look at things where they might not have seen it that way. Well, that's incredible. Yeah. There's nothing, there's nothing scary or what, what the naysayers would say. There's... Yeah, I, I personally, um, I don't find any negative connection um, religiously or spiritually where I feel like I'm in danger or harmed by using the cards. And I feel like the second biggest misconception within tarot is the death card. Ah, let's talk about that. The death card has pretty much got to be one of my favorite cards mm -hmm. because ironically, it's more about rebirth, mm. ending a chapter and then beginning a new one. Whereas, yes, it kind of looks a little scary. It's for the purpose of the word. Um, but you'll see in TV shows all the time, which drives me nuts. Um, but that's for the dramatic effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but they pull the death card, and it's like, shock, you're going to die. Uh, it's, I would never, on my end, ethically, um, use that card as a reference that you will pass away. Um, I'm not entirely sure of other people's practices, as every tarot reader has their own way of using the cards. Mm. Right down to how they open their connection to source and how they shuffle and if the client, if they want their client to touch their deck or not. There's lots of variants there. Um, let me think. I'm trying to think if there's another card. What about would... the devil card? Is there a devil card? Oh, yes. Okay. So the devil card is. You know, it's funny. Um, Cause that's the one, like, that, might, that might be the one that would throw people more than the death card, I think, to know there's a devil card. Yeah. Um, the, I like, I like the, uh, the morbid ones. <laughs> but the devil card is all about the illusion that you are trapped within a situation that, so the devil is standing behind what is supposed to be Adam and Eve. They've got chains around them. Um, so they are trapped in, with this entity that seems to be big and scary. The way that I like to interpret that is that the chains are loose, but you are so afraid of what you've built up in your head, almost like you've built your own monster, that that card represents dismantling the monster on your own. So wow. it's not evil at all whatsoever. It's you've built this, I hate using this too, but you've built this demon within yourself. You've kind of gotten jumbled up and you have all the control to release that demon, negative thought pattern on your own. Wow. So... So in essence, this is this is almost like a therapy session. Absolutely, wow. absolutely. Yeah, it's um, definitely quite a few people come into a session asking um, future-based questions. Uh -huh. There are times where I can get a certain time frame into things. And even there, I personally, every reader is very different within mm -hmm. their comfort level. I personally try to um, stay within the here's the advice right now. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's definitely more added information into a situation that you've come into confused about, and it's less about the future. So... Okay, so I know soon you're going to be doing a reading for me, but let's mm -hmm. just, it, just to, to, to back from that a bit. So if you were going to do a reading for me, mm -hmm. 
would it be about something that I already know? Like, could I find out this information without the cards? Would it eventually turn up? Or do the cards give me like a little shortcut to what I need to know? For the most part, when I pull cards for people, they kind of start to realize that that, that situation is going on either within themselves or around the circle uh -huh. um, in their life. Usually that's a bit unexpected for people, but that is really the core of what tarot is. It's finding the root of either something kind of swirling around within you that you haven't recognized oh. or you already know. And it's advice into how to overcome that, which is where I blend my oracle cards into my readings because of the fact that if you pull a tarot card, uh -huh. It has a specific meaning always. And um, the oracle decks end up giving you added information, but they always have different words. So it blends together usually very, very well. So you, you mix two different kinds of cards, yes. two different yes. decks? Um, I've never heard of that. That's really cool. Yeah. When I started, I was, um, I was, very, I was a stickler for just sticking with the tarot cards. And then when I was home by myself and I was pulling readings for myself, I said, let me, let me just try for extra information, adding an oral, oracle deck in. And I have not stopped doing that for clients ever since because wow. it's beneficial for both. For me, for information to convey back to them, which I hear through their guides. Um, their guides and my guides kind of work together. Wait, wait, wait. So, so that's the mediumship part? That's the mediumship part. So wait, so we got, we got tarot cards, oracle cards, and some mediumship going on? Yes. Oh and my God, this yes. is incredible. And then there are times where I'll have a session with someone and we'll split the session in half and they will say, okay, now I recognize issues that are core within my being and then I'll add the shamanic aspect into that and we'll do a healing for that person with the issues that came up. Really? Yeah, so I kind of, depending on each person, there is, there is so much that goes into it. It's beautiful, it's beautiful the way that it goes. But, this sounds beautiful. This yeah. sounds like something everybody would benefit from. Absolutely, and um, the people that come with each client it could be either their spirit guides, it could be loved ones, it could be people that kind of are whispering in my ear extra information as help. You don't, you don't hear that with your typical tarot card reading. Yeah, I'm not sure <clears throat> if, um, in the beginning I was a little wary about explaining that aspect of it because I felt huh? like it was a little, it was a lot um, to grasp when you're already coming in and tarot is new to you but then I started to explain it because then people were like well how are you getting this information and I'd say well your dad's over there and he's whispering in my ear and he's telling me extra things so I figured hey, I'll throw it in <laughs> <laughs> might as well yeah that's fabulous yeah oh my god I had no idea yeah um, so that's how I personally work again, and I'm sure that other tarot readers have their own kind of special niche that they add in, but mine is definitely my connection to um, the spirit realm. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Um, so are these two complete decks? You just, yeah. would I pick one? We're going to do it really soon, I think, mm -hmm. but would I... How does, how does this work? Talk about, let's just walk through what a typical tarot card reading is, just for the viewers before okay. we actually do this. Sure. So there are two ways that a, that a reader goes about their readings. They uh -huh. either have the client um, shuffle the cards mm -hmm. so that the client infuses the energy in, or they will keep the cards to themselves. They will ask the question or the client will pose the question and they kind of do the whole thing. Uh -huh. I do a little bit of a mixture of both. I shuffle, so I'll shuffle for you, right. um, and I'll split the deck in half, and I'll ask you to choose a side, and whichever side you choose are the cards that I will pull from. Oh, so I, I'm not going to pull from the whole entire deck? No. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. 
Okay. That's the way that I work. Oh, cool. Um, and there are other tarot readers who have clients shuffle the deck, and then they'll just pick it up and they'll go one, two, three, four. Um, truly, everyone works differently. Now, are there different layouts? Are there, there are. There are different spreads, um, quite a few. And then the other cool thing is, is that if someone posts a question, um, I mean, we'll say relationship-wise, you can uh -huh. form your own spread where you can say, how is... How is the client feeling at the moment? How is the partner feeling at the moment? How can they work together to build a tighter relationship? You can assign different questions. You can build your own spread. Really? Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. So it, it, it varies from person to person, and it's very personal for each one. Wow. Yeah. Well, why don't we? Uh, why don't we get to that part of the show now? I would now? love to. I would <laughs> oh, love boy, to. Boy, I'm excited. Okay, so what do we? Where Where is Muffin? By the way, Muffin, you want to come back up here, honey? Muffin oh. is probably hiding. But the reason why Muffin is here is because I do most of my readings uh, remotely, which is the same exact energy exchange as it would be um, if we were face to face. There she is. Look at her. There she is. I love Muffin. Muffin is here because she started to interrupt all of my video readings, walking in front of the camera or laying there as a, as a friend. Um, and it was a joke at first and aggravating to me. And then I said, I give up. Muffin, if you want to be part of this, you're more than welcome to. And she has pretty much been in every video. Here she comes. She's right. Oh, we, we can't. She, we'll mess up the shot if we get Muffin. Yeah. Okay. But that's, yes, that's beautiful. And I do, I do love watching your posts with Muffin. Yeah, Muffin so, is silly. All right, let's do this. Okay. So we will, um, if it's okay with you, we will stick with asking your guides what they would like to tell you in this moment. Oh, cool. What they would like to yeah. convey. Oh, I'm all about that, sure. So I would ask, does Marianne need to know? Oh, look how cool her. you do that. <laughs> Can you do that one more time? That just that's really... another thing. Everyone that's... has their own shuffling ways. My God. Um, that's so cool. My hands are so tiny that this is pretty much the only way I can shuffle. Ti Don't you call yourself the teeny tiny tarot girl? Yes. Um, I love that. When I was a stay-at-home mom, I had a blog, and I called it Teeny Tiny Mommy. And I said, when I start my business, what am I going to call myself? And, I mean, that totally fit. Um, I'm... Four nine, so it works. Okay, wow. so now I have asked the question, and I will hand this to you and have you split this in half and choose a side. This side. Okay. All right, and then I will ask the same question with the uh, fairy oracle deck, which. I've used quite a few decks. And I've, I've never seen a shuffle like that. That's Really? Yeah, that's incredible. I'm, I'm enjoying watching yeah. that. I've been trying to master other shuffling Oh, no, techniques. this is a good one. Yeah. This is a good one. I like it. So for me, I just tend to pick this one. Okay. So I will pull... Um, Can I just move this one to the side? Yeah, that's oh. totally fine. All right. So I will pull two cards from here for you. Oh, I don't know what they say. The two of Pentacles. Yes, and then goodbye to the old, hello to the new. Oh, how exciting! And then we have the magician. Uh huh. Um, and we have along with the magician, whom do you need to forgive? Oh. Yes. So, real quick, there are major and minor arcana cards, and then there are court cards. Oh, what does that mean? Here's where we get a little confusing. The Magician is a major arcana card. So that's basically um, the meat and potatoes of the reading. Why is it called major arcana? There are really important parts of readings that have a story. It's called the Fool's Journey. So the major arcana is the Fool's Journey. Oh, really? The Fool starts at zero. And then we go all the way to the end, which is the world. So you've completed the cycle. Uh -huh. um, 
and that's kind of the story. And then the minor arcana cards are added details to the majors. So if you receive a major arcana card, that's basically your guide saying, okay, here's the important part, uh -huh. and then this is added information. Like the color commentary. Yes. Oh, exciting. Oh, okay. Very good. So we will start with the, I have muffin hair. My whole life is muffin hair. We love that. <laughs> We'll start with the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles is figuring out how to balance financial situations. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I like to equate it to, do I spend too much money or should I save a lot of my money? And it's juggling that in-between stage of where, where am I standing now? Um, evaluating where you are now financially. P pentacles usually refer to earthly issues uh -huh. um, or monetary issues. So it could even be where am I within my earthly existence, my human existence. Type. Oh. Then yeah. we have the cups, which are emotions. The uh -huh. swords are communication and the wands are creativity. And those are the four different suits? Yes. And oh, then the cool. court cards are the page, knight, queen, and king. They represent either an aspect within yourself uh -huh. or someone around you. Really? Yes. So then we have goodbye to the old and hello to the new as added information to this. Mm -hmm. So that would tell me that you are either figuring out your balancing juggling act financially uh -huh. um, or that is going to be coming in soon. Oh. So you could take that and go home and say, all right, this is something that I haven't been paying attention to. Mm -hmm. Now here's my knock knock from my guides. Hmm. The Magician, the Major Arcana card. Um, for, for me, for you, this reminds me of your shamanism work. Oh, which I am loving. Oh, my God. Yes, it's Dharma beautiful. Dharma School was the greatest thing I ever did. I agree. Yeah. yeah it changed I love this everything. Work. Yeah. Cool. So the Magician is someone who works with all of the suits. Uh -huh. So he has obtained... His sword, his cup, his wand, pentacles. Got all the tools. He's got all the tools. So that, for me, would indicate that you've got all your stuff together. You are working with them. You've mastered them. And you are the person that people would go to to gain the insight or their own power. Wow. So you would be the magician and um, in the fool's journey, the fool ends up meeting the magician. And then he has, you know the picture of the fool where he has the yeah. little satchel? Yeah. Um, he ends up realizing at the end of his journey, because he never opens up the satchel, yeah. that he ended up being his own magician to begin with because he had all the tools that the magician had. Come on. So Yeah, so it's a beautiful ending. Um, but the magician does not tell him that. That's so the needs... Wizard of Oz. Yeah, it's very cool. Oh, that is cool. Awesome. Okay. So then, whom do you need to forgive? Oh, well, there's a list. Oh, boy. Um, so this, to me, would indicate, if I would put that with the magician, that you have the capability to use everything within you, all of the aspects that embody the magician, to sit back and analyze what you need to do before you move forward within your own healing process. Wow. And that the healing process is already there. You just have to pull it out and recognize that you've got it together and you're totally wow. good. So a quick summation of this reading. What, uh, what would be the total takeaway? I would say that... This is the I'm eating potatoes, like I said. Uh -huh. So this would be the note that it is quite easy for you to get to a place of the balancing act within your life uh -huh. because this is already here. It's just recognizing that it exists wow. within yourself. So having the power to believe in yourself to do that. Okay. And then these two, this is just letting you know that now is the new cycle for your life. Yes. And you're working emotionally through your things. And you're totally capable. That's awesome. 
Yeah, it's, That's it's awesome. very, very fun. It's interesting. Wow. You know, and this was just a very basic reading. You can, you get more, I more yeah, detail with other people, right? Yes. This is a short for the show. Yes. Give um, people a taste of how amazing it is. Yeah. So it's a little, it's a little harder to work with kind of few cards because. There she is, there she is for the ending of the show. Oh, Muffin, oh, come I wish here. We could, can you pick her up? The show's about to end. Oh, please, oh, I'm sorry, up. Muffin. Um, oh, muffin, I'm glad you came up for the ending. So, um, yeah, the more cards, the more detail, the more in-depth you can go. Um, two is a little hard. Mm -hmm. But the, um, yeah, it's just added information along the way. But that's good to know because, you know, I, I have been doing a lot, you know, just finishing Dharma school and everything, mm -hmm. and you know how that, mm -hmm. you know, when I'm, I'm ready. Powerful healing. Oh, and I'm ready to, to move on yeah. to what's, what's next. And the magician what? is confidence, and I'm sure you have built a ton of confidence Girl, going through your you stuff. Know I have. Yes, you, know you I cry, have. and it's wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. This is beautiful. You know, I'm going to want to have a longer reading with you. Thank you. I definitely it's will. It's so much fun. Yeah, and you know, I mean, I do know a little bit about what you do, and I, I highly recommend this to anybody who just kind of wants to know a little bit more about what's going on in their life. I can mm -hmm. see how this could be a great addition to, yeah. to, to learn just where you are in your life and mm -hmm. what's going on. Yeah, definitely to learn a little more about yourself yeah. and how to become stronger and um, you know what kind of changes would be beneficial for you. Wow, you know what? Thank you so much Thank you for coming so on much. my show. I appreciate oh, it. I love you so much. And, and Muffin, Muffin. Says thank you. I love you, Muffin. I'm so glad that you came up for the ending of the show. Oh, that's She's right. So oh, you don't get cuter than Muffin. Yeah, Muffin is everywhere for me. <laughs> yeah, and the two of you together just... Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This, I don't want to end this show. I wish we could keep talking, but you know what? I got it. <laughs> All right, that's right. Oh, yeah, Muffin, get right up on the table. Yeah. That is what she does during yes, reading. Yes. She's exactly that, but she lays down. I love it. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for watching. Time for healing. We had a great time learning all about tarot cards. Please join us next time when we learn about another incredible healing modality. See you then. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.